discussing about factors affecting transpiration. So what are the factors that affect transpiration? There are two types of factors. One is external, another one is internal. So first factor in external is intensity of sunlight, velocity of wind, temperature, humidity, carbon dioxide, atmospheric pressure and in the internal factor we will talk about water content of the leaves. So let us start with the external factors first. I will be describing all the factors one by one. So let us discuss about the very first factor that is intensity of sunlight. So now children, you all know that when there is a sunlight, okay, it, this factor also affects transpiration but it affects in an indirect way. It has the influence of transpiration but not in a direct way. Okay. So whenever there is a light, when there, whenever there is a sunlight, what happens? The process of photosynthesis starts. Okay. With the uh, that with the process, with the starting of this uh, photosynthesis process, what happens? The guard cells opens up first because they absorb water, and when the guard cells absorb water, they become turgid, and when they become turgid, they open up. The stomata pore open. When it opens, then the gaseous exchange also starts happening and thus resulting in the process of photosynthesis. So, if the sunlight is there, if there is a sunlight, then the transpiration will also be there. Okay? With the presence of, with the intensity of the light, the transpiration will also increase. Okay? So, what did I say? I said as the sunlight will be intense, the so same is with the transpiration. But, as the more light will be there, the temperature will also increase. So there will be a point when the light, intense light will also stop the transpiration. Okay. This point is very much related to the point that I have written here, the third point temperature. Same is with this. When the temperature increases, the photosynthesis also increases. Okay. And thus the process of transpiration also increases. Because when the photosynthesis will increase, the process of transpiration will also increase and thus loss in water. Because of the process of transpiration, the loss in water that is happening in the leaves will absorb more water and thus make the cells more turgid, thus opening the guard cells. So by the opening of the guard cells, the process of photosynthesis will occur more. These chemical activities will occur more. So, there is a point. So, that means if the temperature will increase, the transpiration will also increase. With the increase in temperature, the transpiration will also increase. But, after some time, if the temperature will keep on increasing, and supposing temperature, it has become very higher. So, at that time, the plant cells, they will release abscisic acid. They will release abscisic acid, which will stop transpiration. So, that the plant should not get dehydrated. If the plant will get dehydrated, the plant will die also. So that's why a temperature, a particular temperature, a high temperature, a particular high temperature is only suitable uh, for the transpiration. So with the with the higher, with the higher in the temperature, as the temperature will become higher, the transpiration will also become higher. But if the temperature will be very, very higher, it will stop transpiration. In the same way, intensity of the sunlight, whenever there is a sunlight, of course, there is a process of photosynthesis. And because of the process of photosynthesis, because that process happens, because the guard cells absorb water, they become turgid and the process occurs. And with this process, the process of transpiration also occurs. Okay? But in the same way, if there is an intense sunlight, the temperature is too much, then it will also stop the process of transpiration. Now, let's come to velocity of wind. Velocity of wind, that means speed of wind. Wind, wind itself means air having high speed. Okay? So, if the wind, the, the speed of the wind is more, it can easily take away more water vapors along with it. Okay? So, if the velocity of the wind is more, it can easily take away the water vapors along with it, thus causing an increase in the transpiration. So, more is the velocity of the wind, more is the process of transpiration. Next is humidity. If 
will talk about humidity. What is humidity? In the same way, here also I can put two. More intense is the sunlight, more intense is the transpiration. So in the humidity, we'll talk about humidity. What is humidity? It is the amount of water vapors present in the air. If the amount of humidity is more, that means the air around the plant, in the atmosphere, the air is already full of water vapors. Then why would it take more water vapors? Why would it take more water vapor? So it will reduce the amount of transpiration. So that means more humidity will reduce the amount of transpiration. And less humidity will increase the amount of transpiration. Because if there are less water vapors in the atmosphere, then the transpiration will be more. Because the air is free of the water vapors. Air is dry, so it will take more water vapors. But if air is already saturated with more water vapors, then the transpiration will decrease. All right. Now let's come to the next fifth. That is the amount of carbon dioxide. Now, as you know, what is the uh, what is the concentration of carbon dioxide? What is the amount of carbon carbon dioxide? Carbon dioxide carbon dioxide that is present there. It is 0.03%. If the intensity of the carbon dioxide increases more, if the intensity of the carbon dioxide increases more in the air than this, then it will lead to the closure of the stomata. If the stomatal pores will close, then what will happen? It is very obvious if the stomatal pores will close, the transpiration will decrease. Okay. So, with the increase in the carbon dioxide, transpiration will decrease. Okay. Now, atmospheric pressure. What creates atmospheric pressure? Air creates the atmospheric pressure. Now, here in the lamp, let, let us take the example of two places. One is like uh, hilly areas. We can talk about the hilly areas and the plain areas. What do you think? Where the atmospheric pressure is more? On the land, atmospheric pressure is more rather than the hilly areas. Okay, because here on the land, because of the gravity, okay, it you know pulls the molecules of air towards it. The land, the plain areas, because of the gravity, more gravity on the earth, it pulls the air molecules towards it, thus creating more atmospheric pressure. Okay, but in the hilly areas, if you will go to the higher altitude, the molecules will become less. They will, will they will scatter. They will be less. Why? Because as we will go up, we will move up. Okay, the gravitational force of the Earth will reduce. When it will reduce, then the molecules will become very less in the hilly areas, thus creating less atmospheric pressure. So what did I say? I said like in hilly areas, the atmospheric pressure will be less. Okay, and on the plain areas, the atmospheric pressure will be more. So where the atmospheric pressure is less, okay, there the transpiration will be. What will happen here? Here, the atmospheric pressure. What did I say? I said atmospheric pressure is less here. So, what do you? What do I mean when I say atmospheric pressure? That, that means here on the hilly areas, on the higher altitude, the air, the molecules of the air, they are scattered. They are very less. So that's why they will cause more transpiration. They will cause more transpiration here. And on the plain areas where the atmospheric pressure is more because of the gravitational force. Okay, so here the transpiration will be less. Alright, so whenever the, there is a place where atmospheric pressure is less, there the transpiration will be more, and the place where atmospheric pressure is more, transpiration will be less. Okay. I hope these all points are uh, clear. I just want to recap these all points again. First of all, I have told you about the intensity of the sunlight. Okay, and because of the intense sunlight or because of the intense light, I told you the transpiration will also increase because 
the sunlight we create it will progress the uh, process of photosynthesis and because of that photosynthesis the cells will become turgid thus the diffusion of the gases which are taking place they it will be more easier all right diffusion of the gases will start so uh, the process of uh, transpiration will also start now velocity of the wind more is the velocity of the wind more is the transpiration temperature more is the temperature more is the transpiration but if the temperature is very very high there is a condition if the temperature is very very high on that temperature this transpiration will stop in order to stop the dehydration process in plants all right and what the, uh, what we cause is stoppage of uh, transpiration that is abscisic acid which will be released by plant cells next is humidity more is the humidity less is the transpiration and vice versa all right next is carbon dioxide as we know this is the intensity of the carbon dioxide if the concentration of carbon dioxide it increases more than this 0.03 then the transpiration decreases because it results in the closure of stomata next is atmospheric pressure i told you where the atmospheric pressure is less then the transpiration will be more and where it is more then the transpiration will be less okay now let's come to the internal factors so internal factors we have we have only one internal fact that is water content of the leaves okay there are few places in which the water level is too much down or it is difficult for the uh, plants to absorb water like cactus so what happens that the amount of water that is contained by the leaves it will be very less if it will be very less then it will result in the stomatal closure because if the plant they will not be able to absorb water then the plant cells will not be turgid if they will not be turgid then what will happen it will result in the closure of the stomata if the stomata will get closed or it will get partially closed then the transpiration will reduce or it will stop and if the of course if the water content of the leaves are very higher then the transpiration will also be higher because the transpiration is the process by which a plant it, uh, the plants gives out the excess amount of water in the atmosphere all right so these are the external internal factors i have just given you 30 seconds to have a look on